Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us for this update from your coronavirus headquarters. I'm Mal Meyer. California is the latest state to require masks in most public places following a resurgence of the coronavirus. Cases have surged to a new daily high in Florida and there are also concerns in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where President Trump will hold a rally inside an arena tomorrow. CBS News correspondent Danya Backus has the latest on the rising coronavirus cases from Los Angeles. I, I think you need to stay protected. I really do. Well, I think uh, they have their place. That place is now just about everywhere in California after Governor Gavin Newsom's statewide mask order. We have encouraged for months that you put face coverings on. Now we're no longer encouraging it because too many people are not doing it. We're making it mandatory. The order came as the number of hospitalizations for COVID-19 in California hit its highest level since April, more than 3,400. Florida reported another 3,200 new coronavirus cases Thursday, an all-time high. Hospitals are now close to 75% capacity. We were feeling like we were going to be able to handle this, and now it's looking like we're going to be all over ground zero, um, just patients everywhere. There are concerns the number of coronavirus patients could continue to increase in Tulsa, Oklahoma, after President Trump holds a campaign rally there Saturday. We're going to be in Oklahoma and it's uh, a crowd like I guess nobody's seen before. Some are already in line outside the 19,000 seat BOK Center. Is it going to be the rallies like we know of, like in the past that we've been going to, like the ones we went to in February? The city's health department executive director has recommended postponing the event. Let me be clear. Anyone planning to attend a large scale gathering will face an increased risk of becoming infected with COVID-19. But Oklahoma Republican Senator James Langford says a surge in cases was always inevitable as people leave isolation. It is a challenge for us. We can't hold the economy down forever. The Trump campaign will hand out masks, but they're optional. Temperatures will be checked on arrival. Hand sanitizing stations will be available. The event does not include social distancing measures. The campaign has advised those at high risk not to attend. Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. And anyone who requested tickets was required to sign a waiver agreeing not to sue if they get the coronavirus. Turning now to the latest coronavirus numbers in Wisconsin, nearly 23,800 people have now tested positive in the state and 719 people have died. However, more than 18,000 people have recovered. There are 22 new cases being reported in La Crosse County, while Eau Claire County is reporting nine new cases. With the La Crosse County Health Department putting us under a severe risk for spread of COVID-19, some bars are already closing their doors again. Chances are in La Crosse is just one of the many bars shutting down temporarily. It just reopened last Thursday, but closed again after the health department put La Crosse County in the red. The owner of Chances Are says the bar was following health guidelines and capacity was not an issue. But the risk right now is too great. Being upset and mad about it isn't going to change anything. So, you know, we'll just keep trucking along and keep clean, you know, and hopefully open and everything will be okay. La Crosse City Hall is also closing to the public today, along with Airport Beach along the Black River. Turning to Minnesota now, 32,000 people have tested positive for the coronavirus and over 1,300 people have died. 27,700 people around the state have recovered. And in Iowa, a little more than 25,000 people have tested positive for the virus and 680 people have died. Over 15,600 people have recovered. Thanks so much for joining us for this coronavirus update. We hope you can join us tonight at 5, 6, and 10. Take care.